So guys, I finally did it. I bought a projector. So I can't believe I've finally been able to add a 16mm projector to my collection here at home. I was really excited to get this. But before we get to the projector, let's kind of jump back in time to what started all this off. So you may be asking yourself, what in the world possessed you to buy a 16mm projector? Apart from being a projectionist and having all this film stuff here in the office, let me tell you why this led to me buying this projector. So I went to my barber's to get my hair cut a couple of months back and he had these old World Cup films that somebody sort of gave to him. Uh, History of the World Cup, World Cup 74, uh, 100 years of football, all this kind of thing. He's into football, he didn't really know what film was. He knew I was a projectionist and offered them to me did I want to take them or were they just worth sort of throwing out. So of course, every projectionist is gonna take any free film that's going to try and keep it alive. So these World Cup films kind of pose an interesting question. Um, all the boxes were in German and the reels and the leader were also in German too. When I opened up to have a quick look at the bench, it was uh, in German as well, so that was kind of strange if I buy these German World Cup films. Now the problem I had was I had a bunch of 16mm film and no way of showing it or testing it other than looking at the bench. So I went searching on eBay to look for a 16mm projector to be able to run my 16mm films that I bought and to my surprise, I was able to find and buy this absolutely amazing Bell & Howell Filmo Sound 652 16mm projector. Fully working, a little bit dirty, needs a bit of a clean up, but everything still works. The only thing wasn't with it was a power cable. So the projector arrived and the listing said it came with everything but a power cable and the sound was also untested. So interesting enough, I wanted to check this out and run these 16 mm films that I bought and check out that they actually ran. See the projector worked okay. So I've done a quick test. The team from Zaire play so well. The Africans are very skillful ball players and they don't get nervous under pressure. This playing at the World Championships for the first time is Australia. And the Australians meet West Germany in London. The mascots of the visitors, Carla Bear and a kangaroo. So I was really excited to find out that pretty much everything on this projector worked. It needs a bit of a clean up, but I'm really delighted that I was able to grab this 16mm projector listing off of eBay and add a 16mm projector to my collection here. So now I have a couple of these World Cup films that I can run and check out and I haven't even checked them fully out yet to be honest, to go through and see what way they are. They're a little bit scratched and stuff, but that's only to be expected. You know, they're pretty old these things and if I wasn't going to take them or buy them, they were going into a skip or a bin which is uh, never nice to see with film when you're a projectionist. But yeah, really excited to add this to the collection. And um, yeah, so now I'm looking for some 16 mil films. So there you go, guys. That's just a quick video, a vlog about my Bell & Hell Filmo Sound 652 16 mil projector. Just a kind of story of how I came about to buy it and adding it in here to my movie collection. Thanks for watching the video, guys, and I will talk to you on the next one.